What did you guys think of that? I thought it'd be a little uh, cool because it's Imperial and I got Darth Vader. Mind all that stuff in the back. But yo, 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 what up my fellow cloners? I come here to show you the landing pad on Ithor. Now, do mind the stuff in the background. You guys have seen my room before. Uh, but this is the best way I could present this because I can turn it. But if you guys don't know, Ithor is an Earth-like planet and the Ithorians that live there find the ground very, very sacred and once they touch the ground they can never leave the planet. That's why they live in big floating cities. But I have an Imperial base well, Imperial landing pad on the planet of Ithor because the Imperials just do not care about their sacred ground. So I'll start with the terrain and then move up, move on up on the landing pad. So here, oh, you don't, oh, don't see, the, don't look at that. That's very classified information. Alrighty, uh, you'll see that in two days anyway. So first we have this kind of curvy beach. I like how I did the curve on the beach, uh, and along the beach I have. Right, clear, not white, clear studs uh, representing that the water is washing up onto the shore. And then I have the blue studs, which is supposed to be lighter, and then the darker signifying deeper. This time I didn't pour it on there. I wanted to try this, and I think it's an exception because I don't really like doing this, but I think it looks nice. Yo, ho, 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 ho. Alrighty, uh, we have the small rock structure here in the water. Just wanted to. Play around, and then we have this. All right, the landing pad. So that looks like it's the shuttle, Lambda class shuttle. All right, you guys are probably thinking, oh, clone production studios. Why did you do it so thick? Well, there's a reason behind it, and there's a reason why there's behind a pipe here. All right, I'm just gonna say the base is a few meters that way. So over there. I'm never going to make the base, but let's just say that. And the landing pad is close to the water because it acts as uh, a hydro, like, uh, I don't know what you would, kind of what a dam does. It gets electricity from the water. So it's pulling in the water, and it's this is a wire for the electricity to go to the base. That's why it's coming out of there. Uh... I don't know why I said other. Then follow up behind the sand, we have mud and dirt. Focus. All right. So yeah, mud. We have a bunch of random rocks and studs. These crates I put on some clear one by oh clear studs to show that they are floating. And then just put a jumper plate underneath this speeder and then a one by two by two window panel of the speeder just because I got some got some scouts up here uh, okay hopefully the shuttle does not fall when I rotate and this has got to focus all right so Ithor well this part of Ithor is very very densely vegetated Wow, this is not liking this is not like the focus. Here we have a hill. It goes up by one brick, and you can see the elevation. Here, ooh, here, I got some moss. Basically, they're just 
two of these pieces that I've hooked onto this this piece. I don't know what to call this piece. Alrighty. So to turn it around, you see we got the detail going all the way through here. Alrighty. Over here we have the small pathway that will eventually come up this way and then go all the way over there. Here we have the elevator. I think I said that. I will say it again. The elevator. Here, it's anti-gravity, it goes up to here, so this control panel is here, this control panel here, you see. So basically the stormies, just tap a few buttons, and then the elevator comes up or down. We got the new stormtroopers, well, not, not those, but the one from the Star Destroyer and the Darth Vader. That has the trench coat going on to the. It's not going to focus. Coming on to the legs. All from that set right there. No. <laughs> Alright. So. I shall flip this around, take the shuttle off, and show you the landing pad with the shuttle and then without. And then we'll wrap up, and that'll be it. Alright, so. Just like that. Gone. Alrighty. So up here we have the landing pad. I was going to do the entire thing tiles, but I did not have enough. But my... I'm getting a lot more, so don't worry. I need a lot more. So I have some Imperial insignias just around here. I've got one right up there. Second focus. There we go. I'll go over that in a second. Uh, I have lights on all four corners. This one you can't really see because I did some moss with some snakies. I don't know why I said that. I'm never saying that again. Some snakes and the moss goes all the way down and touches the ground. Oh, if you guys did not realize, there are rebels here. They're going to try to steal the shuttle. But Darth Vader's going to be all. So here I just have a slight design. So... The pilot knows where the center of the landing pad is, so he knows where to land. Got some plates here on the outside, so that we are able to line the troops up when Darth Vader comes in. So you just got two stormtroopers, three scouts, two old ones, one new one. I shall show you the backpacks that I did. So... I just took some of the neck braces. I don't know what they're called. Brackets? Neck brackets? I don't know what they're called. I shall figure that out later. And just attached focus. Focus. Attach some cheese slopes to the back of them. Make it look like backpacks. And only the scouts, because the scouts only need them. Alrighty. I shall get my stand, and I shall show you this. All right. This is the communications array that's on the on the corner. Can we focus on that? Oh, perfect. All right, so basically it's just on a 2 by 2 and I just greveled a bit, but I wanted to leave one corner right here untouched so that I'm able to hook it on under on the corner over here. You guys can't really see it. But it's basically just some greeble, greebling. I will be getting a lot more of these pieces in the future. I plan on using a lot in rat attack. So, yeah. And as I said, the Imperial Insignia. And all you have to do is put it there at the bottom. All right. Real quick, I'll put the shuttle on it. Let you guys look up. I shall be right back. My god, I about had a heart attack. This uh, one by six by four one by six by five slope here just came off and I happened to catch it right before it fell and broke everything on the landing pad. So whew, what I was gonna say is 
This shuttle is probably oh, hoo, 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 hoo. this shuttle is probably one of my favorite Lego sets. Of course, besides the gunship, the ATTE, which I cannot show you currently because it's not there. All right, so hoo, 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 hoo. okay. Before I leave, let's see if I can get you in a cool shot, give you some updates. Alrighty. There. Felucia 4 will be coming out this Thursday. So, that's three more days. Because today is Monday. So, be prepared for that. When that's done, I'll tear Felucia 4 apart and this landing pad, the Imperial landing pad apart, and I shall start rat attack after the yippee. Can't wait, can't wait to start the next big mock. I'm so pumped. I hope you guys are, but I won't keep you guys pretty much, well, I won't keep you guys any longer. So, and leave it at that. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what mini mock or mock you would like me to do next. I have my next two big mocks planned out, but if you want me to do a 32 by 32 or a 16 by 32, uh, feel free to tell me. I will be happy to do it. And that's it. So I want you to have yourselves a very nice day. This is Clone Production Studios signing off.